And now it's time for a Q&A from you, the viewers. And this first question comes in from Eric Bazinga, uh, who had a great comment and kind of a representative comment of a number of others that I got on my disk to digital video that I talked about at the outset here. He said that as a Plex user, he expected me to consider this to be blasphemy. He does see some value in it, but uh, he thinks I'm still spending money. I don't need to because I have all these movies on Plex if I just want to rip them over to it. And I completely agree with the fact that yes, I have the movies, but in the case of the Voodoo Disc to Digital service, I don't have those DVDs in high definition, and I really want the HD. I want that 1080p movie, and I've got a 4K set, so if I'm watching some of these 480p movies, whether streaming or off of a DVD or a DVD rip, it doesn't look as good, and I think five bucks is a pretty reasonable price to pay to get the HD version of a film. Again, not pristine Blu-ray quality, but for some films, it's probably good enough uh, for usually what the cost of a rental is, which is a $5 up conversion. I also had some older Blu-ray movies that I was able to get onto all of my video services for $2. Probably less of a value for that for me or other Plex users because you can just easily pop it onto your Plex server. But I think there's, again, some value for that $5 upgrade from the old DVDs. And I really like the fact that I have movies that I bought 20 years ago that I want in high definition that I really don't have to pay full price for uh, to get that higher resolution. And I think that is something very unusual uh, from the Motion Picture Association to do something so consumer friendly. I can't even tell you how many times I've bought my Star Wars movies over the years and will continue to do so uh, to get the 4K quality that I'm looking for out of those classics now. And I wanted to just show you a couple of things that um, really got me excited about this service from the standpoint of consumers. So. The movie Dave, which was on my list of videos that I converted the other day on that video, uh, it was something that I bought back in probably 99 or 2000. It's one of my favorite movies, and uh, I like the film a lot, but I didn't really want to go out and buy the Blu-ray and spend uh, at a minimum here $13.89 or $13 for it new, uh, or $8 and change plus tax and shipping used. And Yes, I could probably find the Blu-ray at a thrift store or over at a tag sale or something like that, but the reality is I'm not going to get uh, this movie in high definition legally uh, for $5, but now I can because I've got the original disc that I had put money into uh, 20 years ago for probably about $20 and change. I don't have to spend another $14 uh, to get HD. I can just spend the 5 bucks and get it on all of my movie services, and it's not a big deal to me uh, to have things in multiple places. I can easily just switch out of the Plex app and go over to Google Play on my NVIDIA Shield, for example, or pop open my Apple TV's movie section there and have the film there, and I'll have a better quality of it than I would if I just ripped the one that I had. And there's also some argument here to be made for the fact that not every movie uh, needs to be in pristine quality and taking up 30 gigabytes on my hard drive. Dave is not a uh, cinematic masterpiece. It's a comedy with a very funny and well-written script. So that, those kinds of films, it's just not worth it to me from this, this standpoint of space and the repurchase to go ahead and do that, which is why I was so excited about this and why I think it's very valuable to consumers. Another value point, though, is with some of the extras that you get on these movies. Uh, so here, for example, is The Last Jedi on Google Play Movies, and they've got all of the extras, and there's a lot of them on that DVD Blu-ray set, uh, out there for you on a per-click basis. In fact, you can get at them quicker uh, on Google Play than you can on the actual disc or uh, having to go out and rip everything and then organize it inside of Plex, for example. So I've been watching the, uh, the uh, Jedi and the Director uh, documentary, and I'm probably going to check out a bunch of the other extras, and I'm going to probably look at those on Google Play just because it's easier to get at them. And because of the Movies Anywhere thing, when I bought the disc, I also got it there for free. Uh, but if I have an older film on Blu-ray that didn't have the coupon in the box, I can go for $2 and get all of those extras up there and save myself the trouble of having to rip everything uh, for going, you know, to get that extra content, for example. Uh, in the case of Blade Runner, and I'll put up a, a little piece of B-roll so you can see it. We did this in the uh, disc to, uh, Voodoo Disc to Digital video. Uh, I was able to get all of the extras on an edition of the movie that I never actually owned. I had an old version of Blade Runner. When I did the $5 up convert to the HD version, it gave me a newer cut of the movie, 
and I've got all these extras that I never had on the original. So there's some value here that you're going to realize from this, I think, especially for films that you just don't want to buy again at full price or even at a used price. I don't think it's that unreasonable to get a little more value extracted from an investment you made in some entertainment content from 20 years ago, and that's where I see the value of it. Uh, there are still films I'm going to buy on physical disc and rip onto my server. Uh, there are many others that I might look for in HD and maybe buy again if I really want the best possible quality, but some films I'm just okay putting aside like that. And I do think there's a lot of value to consumers who've got huge collections of movies, even used ones they may have bought at Blockbuster as they were going out of business that they can now uh, enjoy in a higher resolution for a much lower price than having to buy the film all over again. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.